This is Cameron Chai, bringing you another episode of Azo TV, and today we're speaking to John Thornton from Bruca, and he's going to tell us about their new fast scan system. Okay, good afternoon. Um, this is the Dimension Fast Scan. I'm going to open it up here. It's an acoustic chamber to uh, keep it quiet inside. So this is the Dimension Dimension Icon platform, Dimension Fast Scan scanner. Um, it has a uh, a um, X, Y, Z scanning um, ability to, uh, to go up to 20 times faster than normal scanning. Um, you can go up to 100 times faster if you, if you would like as well. Um, so it's a very fast scanner. It works in um, contact mode, tapping mode, primarily tapping mode, and peak force mode um, are the two main modes we use it in. Um, it has a, uh, the icon has a 300 millimeter chuck. You can hold the samples down either by vacuum or hold it down with a, uh, a magnet in this case because I have it on a little metal sample puck. So once you have it on here, then you can move the stage around through um, uh, a lot of that range in order to determine where you want to land. So we'll move that back around here like that. Um, the, uh, the scanner is a, a basically a, a Fletcher design with piezo stacks inside of it. It has a very high resonant frequency that allows you to scan uh, much higher scan rates without sending the oscillation, the, uh, the scanner into resonance. Um, so the, uh, the system is basically controlled by the software, which is over here. It's a very simple to use interface where you basically step down the side here in order to set up a scan. So right now I'm not actually engaged, but I'm going to go ahead and engage it so you can see it in action. So I'll click on engage. So there's a few things that are different about this specific system. Um, one is that the probe, which you can see here, this is the optical image. The probes are um, or shorter cantilevers than normal. They tend to be about 30 microns long. Um, the silicon nitride with sharp silicon tips. So what that means is that um, the, uh, they're designed in order to respond very quickly, much faster than a standard probe. So that can allow you to scan at very fast rates. Um, so at this point, it's engaging. I'm at two microns. It's actually not the, the, uh, the fastest scan, so I'm going to turn it up here a little bit. The sample, just to let you know, is polyethylene oxide and uh, polypropylene on a silicon substrate. Okay? So I'm scanning at 7. So we can go ahead and, and crank that up. Um, that's the phase image. This is the topography, which doesn't have a lot of detail on it, on this particular one, and I can show all of them together. I'll turn this guy off for now. Well, yeah, I'll leave it on. Um, so we're collecting your height information, your, your amplitude, and your phase. So right now I'm scanning at 10 hertz. I can go up to 20 or go even faster in, in this case. Um, and I'm collecting 512 by 512 lines. Normally this image would take you about uh, 8 minutes to collect on a normal day. So I'm going to collect this image in about 20 seconds. So that, that can significantly increase your productivity. Um, it would be useful if you're looking at something changing, for instance, if you have some sort of dynamic process that you want to collect data quickly by AFM, um, or if you were trying to um, collect lots of data on lots of different samples, or just simply survey around and zoom out and find certain areas and zoom in in order to study the process. Um, so it's very easy to use. Um, as far as running it, it becomes very similar to just running regular tapping mode. So as far as the gains, setting up your set point, that's all very similar. So if somebody already has AFM experience, they're already going to know how to do that. So that's pretty straightforward. Right, and John, you were saying that it can scan up to 100 times faster than a conventional AFM. In doing so, do you lose any resolution? Right, so our, our claim is that it can scan 20 times faster with the same force control, same resolution as you would get with a, a slower scan, um, and same ease of use, no increase in complexity. So that's 20 times faster. You can go up to 100 times faster. So for instance, I'm scanning right now at 20, okay? So I can come in here and I can go ahead and, and crank it up. Now by doing that, I may lose a little resolution, but you can see I'm going to be collecting an image here um, every nine seconds. So if you needed to go that fast, then that's not a that's not a problem. We can crank it up. This is at 62 hertz, and I may need to see. We'll start to lose a little bit now. Reduce my amplitude down a nanometer or two. So I'm still scanning very fast. We're not going to claim the resolution will be the same, but still it looks very similar to what I was getting originally. Okay. So you can, it's, it's designed to go at a, at a very fast rate. So it'll be fine for samples that had not such fine detail in them. 
to, to scan the right. phosphorus. Right, you know, a lot of times it can still have quite a bit of detail, and I can zoom in here. This is a closed loop system. It's a lot of black, black, black. in here to a slightly smaller area, and that can allow you to go even faster. So here I can go ahead and crank that up a little fat. Yeah, crank that up a little higher, I think, or it's not going to let me. Why is that? Well, let's not worry about that on this video. But you can go up to 100 times faster. Uh, Dr. Ballinger called me, though. She's interested in There. Nope, yeah, it didn't so do it. it. Well, anyway. Um, so, John, this is uh, currently the fastest scanning AFM on the market? It is, yeah. It's fastest scanning, um, tip scanning AFM. One of the primary design criteria that we had with this tool is we wanted to be able to scan the tip. So we didn't want the sample to be moving because if you scan the sample, you will increase your mass or change your mass. That can have some effect on the resonant frequency of the scanner and how fast you can go. So really we wanted to be independent. We wanted to be able to put wafers on here. Um, we can automate this tool. So you can have a wafer on here. You can have it set up to image at several different sites and you can simply let it go. Um, you can also set it up with a mode I mentioned earlier called peak force where it'll adjust all the parameters for you. So all this parameter adjusting I've been doing is something you really even wouldn't even need to do with that. That mode will go about six times faster, or maybe even a little faster than that. So it's a slightly slower mode, um, just by the nature of the mode. But um, so. all right, John. Then if anybody wants more, any more information on the fast scan system, they can find that on your website. Right. You can go to www.bruker.com. All right, John. Thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the new fast scan system. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.